Mathematics, May 2015, question 5. First part of the question says, prove the identity sine theta minus cos theta by sine theta plus cos theta is equivalent to tan theta minus 1 over tan theta plus 1. This is only for one marks. You can choose any side. You can either start the proving by the left hand side or right hand side, and then you prove to the other hand side. I found that taking the right hand side is easier, so I took the right hand side. And we know that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So in place of tan theta, I've substituted sine theta over cos theta. So it becomes sine theta over cos theta minus 1, sine theta over cos theta plus 1. Taking LCM, there is no cos here. So I multiply and divide by cos. So entire term becomes cos as the denominator. So since I'm multiplying this side uh, with cos, I get sine theta minus cos theta. Similarly, doing the other side, I got sine theta plus cos theta over cos theta. So you can cancel this term. So we obtain sine theta minus cos theta over sine theta plus cos theta, which is my left hand side. So I have taken the right hand side and I have proved my left hand side. The second part of the question says, hence solve the equation. This is equivalent to this one, tan theta over six. And they have given the range of theta to be between the interval zero and 180 degree. This is very important while doing the question, you need to observe this part. As you can see, this entire term is in sine theta and cos theta, but this term is in tan theta. In the first part, we have already proved this is equivalent to tan theta minus one over tan theta plus one. So in place of this, we can substitute this one. So it will be easier for us to find the value of theta. I've done it here in the next slide. I've taken this value is equal to this one. Now what I've done, I have multiplied or oh, I have taken this six this side. I've taken this to this side. By doing that, I got 6 into tan theta, 6 tan theta, 6 into minus 1, minus 6. Tan theta plus 1 into tan theta, I get tan square theta plus tan theta. Make this equation into a quadratic equation. So you have tan square theta. This 6 tan theta goes to the other side. So tan theta minus 6 tan theta, you get minus 5 tan theta. Minus 6 going to the other side becomes plus six is equal to zero. Now I have solved the quadratic equation. If you find this is harder for you, then you can take x is equal to tan theta. You can solve by substitution. If you have taken x as tan theta, you can write x as x squared. Minus, uh, minus five, tan, uh, five tan theta is five x plus six is equal to zero. Now you can easily solve this quadratic equation. So x square, to get six, you can multiply two into three. So minus two x minus three x will give, give us minus five x. So this is equal to zero. Taking x common, we can get x minus 2 minus 3 so we can get x minus 2 is equal to 0. From here you can take x minus 2 x minus 3 is equal to 0 x is nothing but tan theta so you can take tan theta minus 2 x is again tan theta minus 3 is equal to 0. Since you have got this 
you have one side x minus 2 is equal to 0. Other side you have got x minus 3 is equal to. Oh, one sec. You can take x minus 3 is equal to 0. From here, I can say x is equal to 2, which means tan theta is equal to 2, which I got here. From here, you can say x is equal to 3, x is tan theta. So I can say tan theta is equal to 3. Now, from here, if I want to find theta, as you can see, this value of is positive. And this value is positive. And this range is given to first and second quadrant. Among first and second quadrant, where do you get positive value for tan? So you can see I've drawn the quadrants. First quadrant, sine, cos, tan, all are positive. Second quadrant, only sine is positive. Third quadrant, only tan is positive. Fourth quadrant, cos is positive. Now, this range is given for the first quadrant, which is 90 degree plus 90 degree. So 0 to 180 degree falls between first and second quadrant. But the both the tan values that I've considered falls or falls to be falls to be on the first quadrant because they are all positive. So we have to get the first quadrant's value, and that's the only answer. So if your inverse theta uh, is equal to tan inverse 3. Tan inverse 3 gives me 71.6 degree. You can use a calculator. Tan inverse 2 will give me 63.4. That means my answer lies in the first quadrant. If you find the answer for the second quadrant, your tan value will be negative. So that will not give you 3 and it will not give you 2. So you cannot consider the second quadrant. Since all values are positive, your theta will be in the first quadrant, which is 63.4 degree and 71.6 degree. I hope you understood this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notified with new videos. Thank you.